Yeah. And then the final chapter after this. The upended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the sea water closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved and now looks down at them quietly. <coughs> My head is filled with one giant question when the world is this thing? It's a piece of garbage. That's what it is. Some sort of garbage. Oh, it's the man in red as a, as garbage. I see he managed to survive the detective. Hey, you the manipulator. Excuse my appearance, but it seems I've lost my body. Oh, and you there. You're the ghost who's been saving Lin all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you s decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who am I? Who in the world are you? Sissel, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are. That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory for quite a bit of tonight. I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am too. Or you could just tell me who the fuck, you know, the main protagonist is, right? It's... just. Just tell me, it's so fucking hard, man. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna sit up now. Okay. <clears throat> the man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth, or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to em emerge. Do I know this man? That I've shed my image of it myself. I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. What room is this? Some sort of some other sort of parlor? I don't know. They got us good. It's all over for this submarine. The engine, its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull, and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. A Temsic fragment. I didn't know that they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the power, source of your powers? Yeah. That meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research, and I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. All three of us. It's him, missile, and me. The meteorite's radiation gives the spirits special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects, and in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers we get, and it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah, my powers have changed over these past 10 years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Hmm. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. How is it? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite, its radiation. That's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago... The meteor fr right fragment struck him and killed him. Yeah. A fragment of that meteor pierced my heart and I died. 
while he was exposed. So of course I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. Yeah, he, uh, his body flew into the, uh, the pit there. Right there. Aren't the Tempsic remnants still right there in that park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation too. Another effect the meteorite's radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death. But it's not all that clear. What? Fucking what now? I mean, time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ugh, this is also strange. I can't take it away. It makes, but it makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped 10 years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Yeah. I guess that's why it's like he's dead, but he's also, and his body is now an inanimate object, which, which I can possess, which, like, it's a body which I can possess, but it's not an actual body, or whatever. Because the meteorite fragment's inside his body, you know. Time just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed, not really alive and not really dead. So, yeah, just basically an object, yeah. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since the incident in the park. My body hasn't aged, aged a day, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with a scalpel, so I guess as soon as an incision was made, his body would regenerate. Wow. Yeah. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on people, on the people who stole our lives. Our lives. As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second, so that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Their objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Temsik. Everybody, including him. Detective Jard was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. These two? Inspector Carbonella and that junkyard super. They were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... Uh... Me too. And him. I was around the targets as well, so they stole my Temsic fragment, and here I am. Oh, don't forget Lin. And don't forget the home. And don't forget the the what's the guy? The the reckless the reckless youth. Oh, the gods! Oh, the gods! Oh yeah! But yeah, one more final target. Lin. Yes. Yeah, you detective. Me? One final target. If you weren't there in the park that day 10 years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Oh, okay, but I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, I know. 
Ten years later, and you'd become a detective looking into Jout's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. Jesus! Holy fuck, look at that! Look how fucking, how long he can reach. God damn, he's, he can reach really far. Jesus Christ! Fuck me, dude. He can reach really far. And then fucking shoot him, boy. Shoot the dude. Shoot him. Shoot him. Your subconscious resisted me such incredible powers. The first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. Oh, really? That's cool. The aim was off and the first shot missed the mark. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. Yeah. And then this guy came in. This uh, this guy with a golden shotgun. To eliminate you. But, you know, whatever. But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. Yep, it was me. I showed up. Yeah. Little did they know that I was supposed to meet up with them after that. But then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Haha, <laughs> the inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were they... But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jowd case. They thought you would find out about Temsic sooner or later. I mean, you've got a point there. Honestly, yeah, you've got a fucking point there. So... It's fine. <sighs> yeah... And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush this submarine. Oh no, there are no cores that link from here to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up the phone line and there are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for this submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. Yeah, that's one way to get rid of ghosts. That you literally just put them in a submarine and you just like throw them down at the bottom of the sea where there are no cores. That's it. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these 10 years. You what? This feeling cut off from the world all alone in a submarine sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Yep. Sounds about right. Hey, Camilla's, Camilla's awake. Lynn. Camilla. Is it true? We're, we're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... If my dad... If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. Yeah, well... Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is this, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all... Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape, if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? That's a good question, but I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. We certainly fucking do, dude. Yeah, dude, the pocket watch and your and your body. This will tell us where Detective Jowd is. Let's go after it. Let's fucking go, dude. That present from the inspector in white. That's right. Detective Jowd told 
told me to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Then we should be able to tell exactly what the, where it is with this. But if we find out where it is, how do we get there? Between the three of us. Without powers, right, Michelin? Right. Oh, wait a minute. How? What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's a, it's a way too early to give up. Looks like Detective Jout is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. I can't even possess that thing. Wait, where am I going? Did I talk to Lin? I guess I talked to Lin. So his shell <clears throat> is, is definitely there in the command room, right? Just without the fragment. You bet your fucking ass it is. But I don't know about calling it a shell. The Detective Jout's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right, and he said it was a radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo in the submarine. If we use it, we can get to Detective Jout. Fuck yeah, we can. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're gonna kill. We're gonna. We're gonna go over there. Come on. Come on. Let's see what Detective Jout's up to. So what are you gonna do? Right on top of the torpedo? Of course not. You guys are going to go. Darn. I kind of wanted to see that. Did you want to see me drown? Camilla. So my dad isn't here on the submarine. Don't worry, we're going to go get him right now. Okay. I hope I didn't hurt Lin's feelings at what I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that. Comments like that just roll right off Miss Lin's Mitch Lynch back because she's really thick-skinned. Ouch. I'm going to start being tougher too. I want to make my dad proud of me. Miss, Miss Camilla. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Camilla. Uh... Do I talk to Missile? Okay, what do we do now? We go find the command room that was launched somewhere into the sea. What? How? Just, let, just to let you know, I don't like water very much. According to Lin, the key to our plan is a torpedo kind of a missile. Missile? You have a missile right here! I will take good with it! <laughs> I don't think she's talking about that kind of missile. Now then, where did we see another miss a torpedo? Look. Oh! Grapes! Oh, grapes! Grapes, grapes! Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? Well, it looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for him- for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Wow! That sounds heavenly. I've been thinking about this for a while now. Why don't you why don't you think that country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. <laughs> anyway, it looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Yeah, well. Oh, is that the telephone line? Can I use this? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh uh, a torpedo room. Torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. I get it. We're going to use a missile to ram the control room. Yep. I'm gonna blow up a detective job, uh, but something like that. Alright. Two is definitely up safe. Okay, I'll see you there then. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go to the torpedo room. Let's see. Come on, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one left. I guess the first thing we is to load it into the tube. Can't count on me. Alright. To the corners of the command room into the to me, torpedo. And I just turn on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. This one? The switch won't budge, maybe it's broken, but I don't think the entire device is broken. We should probably work just fine if we only could use move this switch. But I can't do it with my powers alone. Uh, Missile, I think I'm gonna need your help here. What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around and unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it. Okay, missile, I'm gonna need you to s swish him. Thank you. There you go. And now use it. Bang. 
Let's go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, let's go, boys. We're about to fucking do this. Alright. But something's odd. What is? The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Looks like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right, okay, I'll hop onto the missile. I'll launch it for you. E everyone get on. Missile, get on. So the torpedoes course. It would head toward the command room where Detective Jout is. Twelve seconds after launch, it will pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Alright. Alright, let's go. Just hold on until we get back. Let's go! Let's fucking go, boys! Let's fucking go! Alright. Okay, come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry, I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Michelin and Mishkamila behind. I can't do it! Missile? I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Shishal. No, but I need you, missile. I can't... Uh, I can't just come with me after that. I understand exactly how it feels. I want you to go, Michelle. What? But Michelin? You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Shishol, you might be able to make something happen, and that's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never, never, ever, ever again. Even I can understand that. I couldn't. I could not understand that. Don't. Missile, Mish Camilla. I just know you and Sissel can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right there waiting for you. We'll see each other again. Don't worry. Mish Camilla. All right, let's go. That's a good boy, Michel. All right. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's twelve seconds after I throw the switch. We're ready. Sissel? Yes. We never found out we never found out who you really were, but that doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, Detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, Sissy? Right, Michelle? That's right, we promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here it goes then. Good luck, friend. Alrighty. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lin and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea before I can think of an answer? The 12 seconds are up. Nice. Detective Jout. I bet that big mashed man did this. I'm going to bite him. You better not, you might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and it is sinking. So I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Wow, he has a core too now just because the Tempsic fragment's gone. Wow. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jout. Who, who, who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. How is Camilla and what about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. About everything that happened on the submarine, you know. Uh, so the submarine is badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know, I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You? You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. 
Are you... your mile? So you remember me, do you, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh, your mile? That's right. But those people on the Yanoa were calling you sis. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Alright, sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jared? Right. Okay. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. Well, it's kind of a hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but... Every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day, the name of a certain program emerged as a suspect. Oh, him. Yeah, of course. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took Lilur Lin as a hostage. Hmm, I see. By the way, Detective Jared, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yamile. Ten years ago... My soul was split from my body and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world. No question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lin described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. Yeah, I think there's a difference between... Yeah, never mind, actually. And that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted, you, I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was a twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life. I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot, and the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. 
I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, and everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked him for. A completely man-made life. That's right, I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a na national government to help me, and their response in the end was betrayal. Yep, that's that's what you get, dude. That's what you get for uh, make trying to make deals with fucking foreign country with a foreign country that where a put where the a humans a humans normal skin color is blue, right? That is that is they come from the fucking evolved Smurf village. That's what their country has become. <laughs> they were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And. They even figured out all what the Temsic was all about. And he had no idea they were doing all this. None at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk of Temsic meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? Oh. After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By this man and oh baby too. Oh baby, oh baby. My inspector coming on the old pigeon guy. At first the government didn't believe the report. <clears throat> but then they decided to put the park under surveillance just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park. But there are armed agents there at all times. Ooh, this guy? No way. Bullshit. Don't tell me that old Leafly guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. Lol. That would be funny if, it, if one of them was him. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Oh, protect the gods! Oh, the rock! The rock of the gods! Oh, I'm gonna come on this Leafly! Oh, 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 oh. The park is just like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Temsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on the plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Temsic fragment. So that's it, eh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yep. It's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Job back to life, of course. What? What good will that do now? But we promised, we promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Job. Hmm. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Alright, fine. Let's see where it leads. Here we go then, back to four minutes before your death. Well, it's the second time I have to save Detective Jad, I guess. Maybe. Control room. So. Where are we headed? We are, we are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to... Okay. We will run out soon that... And that will be our destination, Detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. By the way, I am not human, Detective. I am a remote-controlled robot, Detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Well, why would you go to all this trouble to do this? There's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Seth likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, detective. Possibility? 
What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, detective. Now it is time to say goodbye, detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, detective. Grr. Camilla, forgive me. Well, it isn't over here. It isn't. Remember what that big mass man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. A possibility of turning the situation around. Alrighty. Huh? What is it, detective? Look at your Miles' shell. There's no aura emanated from his body. Of course there isn't. The Tamsic fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? I mean, I can't, like... I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Temsic. Cycle between the moments that separate his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Temsic fragment has been taken away. Exactly, so what does that mean? I get it! Your body won't come back to life anymore! The moment the Temsic fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. <gasps> I can go back. I can. I can save him. So let's see. That means we can go back, back to four minutes before your death. But wait a minute. Exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out when we get there. Let's move. Ooh, it's going to be 10 years in the past. That's that's when he died. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it, the final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all of the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. The final chapter, the final death that needs to be erased is the is the 